So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, 3D logo out of a 2D logo. If you have a .svg, a scalable vector graphic, to make a 3D object out of. So let's say you acquired the file and um, you open up Blender. And the first thing you can do is go to uh, your preferences and search for SVG. Just double check that the import export scalable vector graphics is enabled. So we're going to hit file, import, and import scalable vector graphics. So locate your, uh, your SVG and just import it. And it imported with all these separate curve objects. So I'm going to just scroll in here and you can see that we have our, our, uh, our logo here. And uh, first off, we're just going to hit B to box select and then Grab everything, hit Control J, and just join the logo so it's all in one piece. And I'm going to hit RX and 90, just flip it so it's the right way around. Next up, I'm going to go into Object Data Properties right here, going to Geometry, and tamper with the extrude values here. So extrude your logo until you think it's the right thickness. You can also do um, adjust this later, but I like to do it in the curve properties before I turn it into a uh, a mesh object. So you can also bevel the edges on the um, on the logo itself. The way you do that is just go to bevel here and uh, adjust the parameter parameters here. So hold in shift to make smaller adjustments or just let go to make uh, larger adjustments to the bevel. Now it's very small so Let's go ahead and scale that up, S to scale, uh, something like that. And uh, we're just going to set the origin to volume, so it's in the center of the logo and not down here on the, on the floor. And uh, that's the basics of how to uh, make your logo 3D. Uh, the next step would be to just uh, put some uh, simple shaders on it, so hit F3 type convert and I'm going to convert the logo to a mesh object so object convert to mesh enter and now you can see that the logo is a mesh object and it's now longer a uh, curve object so it will be easier for you to uh, put shaders on it so in this particular case the logo is um, made out of a couple of uh, pieces with some air between them. So let's uh, go to, um, we're in edit mode now, tap into edit mode and we'll hit wireframe. We'll hit L on the keyboard a couple of times to uh, to select the whole, the, the letters here. Um, let's go ahead and do that on all of them. Now we selected the, the logo right here and we can Add a it's it, it came default with a uh, black shader so let's assign the black to this part of the mesh and we'll hit Control I to inverse the selection and we'll go to the plus sign here and add some uh, orangey type material click the base color here and just drag that to something pleasing like this. And we'll hit assign. We we'll go back to a um, material preview here. So now you have uh, successfully made your logo into a 3D object. Put some uh, very simple shaders on it. And uh, let's do a quick render with a transparent background to finish this tutorial. So I'll just select my camera here. Hit Alt R, R, R X 90. And I'll just drag that. G and on the X axis, move it roughly to the place where the logo is. I'll duplicate my windows to so click and drag from the right top corner there. Hit zero on the number pad on the right side. And we'll just move the camera back a bit. So G and that's the Y axis. And we'll just drag that. Now you can see on the left side I'm moving the camera further away from the logo. 
and then select the logo, hit double R to, yeah, just adjust it so it's, so we can actually see that it's a, a 3D logo this time. And we'll hit uh, Shift A and we'll add some, some light, some area lamps. I'll hit one on my number pad on the left side here, R to rotate, and I'm just going to place the lamps. I'll hit the Z on the right side, hit rendered so I can see what I'm actually doing with my lights. So I just point that at the logo and I'll increase the strength of the light. I'll hit Shift D on the left side, duplicate my lights, and I'll just move the light to cast some uh, cool Get some cool uh, edge slides here. Shift D to duplicate again. It's all about tinkering with this. Try to find something that looks good for you. And uh, Shift D again. I'll just uh, put this down. G and Z, uh, Z on your keyboard and move it so it's like shining a light through the the back of the logo here. So before I render I just want to uh, just a small little thing here. I can see that I have the weird like shading, uh, harsh shading edge uh, here. That's just because um, I haven't set the mesh to to auto smooth yet. So just go to this um, object data properties again and hit auto smooth so you'll get a more even shadow look on your 3D model. I'll hit F12 and that's, uh, that's the logo. Now you have a successfully made a 3D logo out of a 2D logo and put it on a transparent background. So to save the image, just go to image here, save as, make sure it's on RGBA and PNG and hit save as image.